Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. And it's gonna be a little bit of a boring video, but I just wanted to put it up there. So I'm not sure when this one's gonna come out, but I'm assuming it's after my big study of the Choceras. And uh, just to add to that study, I've got the blades that were sharpened in that study and they haven't been used. So not all of them, but some of them. Um, so I wanted to do some uh, best testing on them to add to that. Um, so most all of these, <clears throat> excuse me, I've already done at least one time. In theory, you should do them three times because that's how many you need to establish the standard deviation. Um, but basically, if I got two scores that were within like 15 grams or so, 10 grams, then that's close enough. That's within 10% or within 5% on most of these. I'm like, that's close enough, doesn't really matter to me. Um, so these, uh, these ones all seem like they were in the range that everything else was scoring, but I didn't do a second one on them. So we're gonna do the second one here just to get like a, a full list, I guess, guess, guess of how how these are going. Um, and it just might be interesting because there's some steels in here that shouldn't be sharpened by the Choceras, like K390 and M4 is on the borderline. Actually, it's out. It's bad, not an ideal one in terms of feedback with a decent, quite a lot of vanadium in there. And then 20 CV is another one. So, you know, those are three steels that shouldn't be sharpened by it. And then there's something like Rex 45, Crewware, and AEBL, that all that are good, good ones for it. So we're gonna test those, and then you guys can just kind of see that. And I hope that's interesting. One more note. When I was sharpening, I guess two notes. When I was sharpening these on the Choceras, sharpness was not the goal. I was just trying to get it to my normal standards, but I was focusing on feedback and speed. Some of these have not been stropped at all. Some of them have been lightly stropped, like once or twice on this stick, or a four micron CBN leather strop. Um, so you'll see the scores that represent that, where I'm not going crazy at all. Um, I was mostly experimenting with m minimal stroppage and just trying to get 100% burr removal on the stone. Don't need a strop. I did want to mention that I sharpened this S30V Steep Country, really great knife, on these. And it's definitely in the not, it's poor feedback and poor speed, but um, the edge came up on it really nice and it was scored like a 200 or so, but I wanted to take it to the next level. So then I went to the diamonds, the Veneve diamonds, and the, where I did the King Neo, which had better feedback and speed than these. And then uh, I did the Veneve 400F and 800F. And then uh, I only stropped it like two, two passes per side on the one micron stick there, and it scored a 150. Super sticky edge but very fine so this is it's a great hunting edge that's on there that's what i like to do is that 400 800 so that out of the way you kind of know where these are all at let's get to some testing so k390 all of these have been tested once already so we're just going to confirm that and if it's way different we'll do a third so here we go Two hundred, which I didn't write down the old score, but ah, oh, I wasn't gonna do the K three ninety because I already did the K three ninety twice. The K three ninety has been hitting two hundred, so that's the K three ninety. We'll see how long this takes me to do. Loosen that. Loosen this. Garbage. Titan. 
pull tight and I'm just I'm using this pointer finger to feel the tension just to make sure it feels correct okay get it centered in there tear all right here's m4 That's a 180. So it, the M4 has done 205 and then 180. So that's good enough for me. And the K390 did all around 200. And basically the results of all of this is if you're not trying very hard, with absolutely minimal stropping after the 3K, you'll hit a 200 using this setup, like on any steel, guaranteed you're gonna hit a 200, so. All right, so next, tear it. This is 20 CV at 59 Rockwell. It's my very educated guess. This one's doing worse. No, 170. All right. No, 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 no. Wow, I did not do a very good job of writing these down. 20 CV, 170. Excuse me, it had done a 250 prior. So I should probably do that one a third time. I'm gonna set it there, we'll come back to it. But as you can see, with the Choceras, sharpening six, you know, 13 and a half percent carbide, six and a half percent of that's vanadium, 17% vanadium carbide, then 20, this 20% 20 carbide, like 3% is vanadium carbide. So ridiculously high carbide and vanadium carbide steels. You can all get to 200 and lower with this setup. So, yeah, that 20 CV needs to get done again. Ugh, but I want to save time on this video. My videos are always so long. I'm sorry. I'm a rambler. Especially if you don't make a game plan before you come into these things. It is so easy to get off track. Okay. All right, next, Rex 45, that's 66 Rockwell estimate. This has like 8% carbide, I believe two, one and a half to two and a half percent vanadium carbide. It's a 180. Can I score anything other than 100? <laughs> then there it is. Rex 180. This crew air received zero stropping. It has a ridiculously aggressive edge on it. One eighty five. Here's a note. This is the pro model. Crewware had done 200 prior. Um, and it does it in five gram increments. So if it was 182, well, I've heard that it rounds up always. So if it was 182, it rounds up to 185. So that is well within my needs of accuracy. Like, to people, 
that think that one gram is gonna make a difference. I don't know. Because the, the industrial version of this is one gram accurate versus this one's five. And that just seems a little bit silly in my eyes, but. Okay, now the AABL at 61 Rockwell, or Miyabi calls it FC61. Well, it's a Zwilling, but it's made by Miyabi. Here we go. Two hundred five. ABL had previously done two hundred and twenty. So there you go. This video isn't too long. Let's sneak one more twenty CV in there, and then we'll go over results. Okay. And this 940 has been reground by Murray Carter to about, it was like eight thousandths behind the edge or so. Now I don't know what it is. At about 12 degrees per side. Now it's at a higher angle than that. But anyways, let's give this a go. One seventy five. Yep. Okie dokie. So, results. So, the twenty CV on the so yeah, all these sharpened on the Troceras twenty CV had an average of one seventy two point five K three ninety uh, with at 64 and a half, 65 Rockwell, super hard, 17% vanadium carbide, sharpened on the Choceras with, I think, three passes per side on four micron um, CBN on leather, average about 210. M4, it's about six and a half percent vanadium carbide, 13 and a half percent total carbide, at roughly 63 Rockwell. Um, this one averaged about 195. 195. And this one, I don't know, between probably around probably five strops per side on something, I don't know what it was. Rex 45. Um, it's at about 66 Rockwell, so very hard, but the carbide volume is well within the Choceras, or Illumina abrasives, basically. And um, this one averaged about also 195. Crewwear has about 3.5% vanadium carbide, and I think... 12% overall total. I don't really remember exactly. At about 61 Rockwell, very nice on the Choceras to sharpen. Zero stropping. Average, um, be 10, about 192.5 is the average for crew wear. No strop. That's pretty badass. And then AEBL, the, probably one of the worst, worst performing out of all of these. But like I said, I wasn't going for sharpness. Um, and this should have been the best out of all of these, I would expect, normally. Um, and this one averaged uh, 212.5. So what does that tell me is that using the Choceras, and minimal stropping to no stropping is uh, you will get a 200 best. You get a 200 best score, does not matter the steel, doesn't matter the hardness, doesn't matter the carbide volume, is it'll do that. 
Now, there might be a problem with getting much lower than that. If I spent a lot of time trying to get it just right, then we might run into a problem. Um, just due to the inability of alumina to actually form and shape those vanadium carbides. But that's not what we did here. And uh, yeah, I think these results are very telling and interesting. So I'm really glad that I got this. I think it's a great add to all this testing I've done here. So yeah, that's, that's all I've got. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye.